Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we have all of our plants behind us and just over there are our tuberous sun juice. Now, if you guys don't remember our tuberous sun juice, they are, like I said, carnivorous plants. I think it's just starting to rain. They are carnivorous plants that go to sleep in summer and wake up in winter. And a couple of weeks ago, we put them outside so that they could start their winter growth because here in Australia, it is going into autumn time and winter. And that's what this whole video is about, is showing you guys how they look right now. They've grown quite a lot. They look really different. They've obviously grown, come out the ground. So I wanna share that with you guys. And if you guys don't remember me, obviously putting the plants outside and talking about them in the past, make sure you subscribe to the channel because you know their growth season is really short and you might miss out on their future updates. And you know the whole point of having this channel is to share this with you guys. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. Anyway, let's go look at the plants before it starts raining. Okay guys, so here are our tuber sun juice. All of the tubers in these long, tall pots and these um, circular ones over here, they are all tuber sun juice. These are seeds, these are tubers, established plants. And um, yeah, as you guys can tell, they're all starting to come out up the ground. But before I do close-ups on, on them, I just gonna talk a little bit about their care. I have them in these tall pots because they form tubers that come about halfway down the pots and then really long roots. So yeah, that's why I have these type of pots that I got. If you're in Australia and you want pots like this, I am selling them $1.50 or I think it's $1 something like that per pot. If you guys want them, let me know. They hold about a litre of soil so they are pretty big. Um, and the reason why I'm selling them is because, like I said, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to leave the country. So yeah, let's take a look at the plants. So this is auriculata, subalpine form. Nothing has come up out of it yet, which is fine. It will come up soon enough. Next one we have a macrantha. The plant just keeps sticking to me. Macrantha, it's a seed grown form. And this is it all here. Can't really get it to focus guys. The traps are really small. So I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but these little traps, you know, aside from catching insects, they also stick onto things and then they grow upwards. So like, let's say it's found its way onto this pole. It will stick up the pole and grow all the way up. So yeah, this is what these traps do. So, you know, it would be pretty cool. Oh, wow. What is this? What am I holding? So look, you see, they, they're stuck to each other over here. Yeah, this, I want, I want you guys to see this. The trap is stuck onto this little root thing that I'm holding. Um, so yeah, I can't really do much about this little root thing, but it's growing its own plant at the end. So yeah, it's quite a mess. Anyway, that's a macrantha. Nothing coming out of this auriculata pot right now, although the soil is pretty soft and feels very spongy. I'm sure we will be getting something soon. This is platychilla, nothing yet. And over here we have macrantha again. So yeah, all the macranthas will be um, you know, one of the first ones coming out. This is the type form. And what that means, what a type is, is the specific plant that they used to, I guess, what is it? Describe the plant in like literature. That's the, that's the type form. And this is the type form. It's a descendant, obviously. They kept the genetics of it alive and well and people looked after it and then I eventually got it. So yeah. You can see the traps are like little bowls upside down, little lamp street lights, if that makes sense. Look good. One thing I noticed is that they got red on one side and green on the other. Well, maybe you can't see them on these ones just yet, but perhaps these ones here, you can see they're red there. And I can't see, but they should be greener there. Or maybe I'm just making that up, which uh, would be funny. Next up, we have Drosera guniana from Mount Bokeri in South Australia. So we can see there's one coming up there. Let me just get the dirt all out of the way for you. And there's one coming up over here. So let's zoom in over there. 
truss raguniana makes these little low lying traps and then eventually they shoot up and grow really tall but yeah coming out of the ground this is granaticola nothing coming up besides two little shoots there and oh there's another one three so yeah they come up but like if you don't really inspect you don't see them like i only saw those ones now like right now back here we have drosera mi something something i don't know what it is at this point but they make these little flat rosetted mounds we'll see when they come up nothing yet obviously nothing yet with these ones our drosera modesta and plain Plantonia over here from Riola in Vic has come up, but it is, looks like it's rotting now. I don't know, I don't really like the soil, it's quite spongy, guys. It's a good soil mix, but it feels really spongy. Yeah, anyway, we'll see how that goes. Over here we have Erame with a pink flower. You can see a really thick stem coming out over there. That's a very happy, healthy tuber. But yeah. Has little sunbursts too. Little explosions, little fireworks, you know. Very pretty little plant. There at the back, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, nothing's coming up yet. But over here, we have Andersoniana. Very messy little plant. See all the low lying traps, not this thing laying across. All of these here and you see some of them will come out and they look red some of them will come out and they look green so yeah it is a very interesting little plant looks really good too next up we have the drosera rupicola which is the one i'm most excited to show you guys look how happy it is looking and look at those little leaves it's even caught a, an insect over there nice flat broad leaves ready to eat whatever lands in them and like lots of little tiny sticky hairs really like this one guys looks so good next up we have Drosera menzisia which you guys had a little sneak peek of a couple seconds or minutes ago they all look very similar they all have their little sunbursts because they are in the same like family so you guys can really see it here with the black background much better I only have an iPhone to record, guys, so yeah, focusing is not the best, but we're trying. Lots of little stalks. Yeah, guys, that's Menzissii. The robust form, which is why it's doing so well. At the back we have Dross from Macrantha. This is the rock outcrop form. And yeah, so what's happened with this one is basically being attacked by like aphids. And I've already cut off so many of these. Like I just pulled them off and I cut them off with the scissors over there. To get see look, there's just they're just everywhere. To just try and get off as many of these aphids as possible but like no matter what i try they just keep coming back and i don't want to spray them with neem or anything because it will kill the plant that's what happened with our drosera spatulatus over here you guys might remember and calinciae's and basically all the plants here we sprayed them with neem oil they all died and now they're only coming back like a year later so yeah guys it's really sad I'll show you guys um, something really interesting about these plants in a short while. But, um, you yeah, know, guys, that's pretty sad that they're getting aphids. And I don't know how to change that. I mean, maybe you guys have an idea, but I really don't know at this point of, in time what to do. So over here, we have something really awesome. This is Drosera colina. Not that little trap to the bottom, but the big ball right in the middle. Look at that, guys. That little ball is going to come out the ground and make these really nice, big, 
leaves ready to catch any insects. How good is that, guys? Looks so good, doesn't it? So happy that these plants are coming out. She has a potato with this really... I don't know why I don't like the soil mix. It's actually a really good soil mix, but it doesn't feel good. I don't know, the, it just, I'm not happy with how it's looking and how it's feeling. It just feels really soft, like too spongy almost. Over here we have Drosra Hukeri from the Highlands and Vic. And back there, Drosra Palada, nothing's coming out. But yeah, take a look at that. Cute little plant, isn't it, guys? But yeah, besides that, as I said, we're going into autumn time now. So most of our plants, the Saracenians are going dormant. You can see they're all starting to look really bad. I mean, they look bad originally, but yeah, they're looking worse. And we have lots of Venus fly traps too that will go dormant. But let's just look at this. This is Drosera Whitakeri from South Australia, Mount Crawford. See, they've finally, after two seasons, um, what is the word? Germinated? Yeah, that's the word. And over here, we have Drosera basifolia coming out of the ground and yeah I cannot see any other plants guys which is why it is really important for you guys to subscribe to the channel so that when I do an update you guys don't miss it because honestly these plants grow really quick in about two weeks time we have like a whole new array of plants that I will update you guys on again so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it out anyway guys I'd want to show you what I have done over here so as you guys know I'm looking at moving to the USA and um, obviously with that I need to sell the plants and the pots and this table and so what I'm doing is that I started cleaning up this one Drosera capensis in Alba form um, to take pictures of and put onto Facebook marketplace and I want to show you guys something how interesting is that guys all the old leaves they basically, I just easily pulled them off or just like fell off because they're that old. And we got a little tower here. It looks like um, a cycad. So cool. It's like a little tree, you know? A little Drosera capensis alba tree. Like, this is also one of the stickiest Drosera's I've ever had in my life. I got the or original seeds from a vendor in South Africa and I brought the seeds with me. Like, I grew the plants. Then I got the seeds off of those plants and bought those seeds here and I made all of these and I'm going to do the same thing, take these seeds, take them with me to the US. But honestly guys, I've never seen such a sticky capensis like plant before. Like look how much it bends. Like this isn't even as sticky as the original mother plants because you know the oil variation, but I'm sure that there are ones in here like that one that are even stickier. It's just insane how sticky these Alba ones are. Like, I specifically took their seeds because I knew how sticky they were. They're just insanely sticky. And what I do want to do is breed stickiness. Okay. Happy little root over there. I want to breed stickiness, basically, in these Saracen... I mean, in these Drosteras. So, yeah, guys. I mean, if you do... If you guys are interested in... Getting some, um, see look, these are all the old, these are all the old leaves that just fell off. Super cool. But if you guys are interested in buying some plants and you live in Australia, let me know. I am selling them. I'm selling Spatulatus, Drosera Capensis, Alba, Calinciae's. They're not really, there's some. There. There. They will be coming up now because of winter. Drosera Capensis, normal form. I mean, Alicia is different, like those are, what are those? Admirabilis, very happy, beautiful Admirabilis with location data. Alicia is, they look really good. Different Alicia is, different location. Don't even know what that is. That looks like um, Admirabilis also, actually very healthy looking. There's a Calencia for you guys. Um, yeah, like I'm selling everything guys. So if you guys want something specific, let me know, I am selling it, got um, pots, um, soil too. Yeah, guys, um, but that's the update. I just thought this was really cool. I thought showing you guys this, the little stem, like on a little tree, was really awesome. But yeah, guys, that's the update on our tuberous drosser over here. 
if you guys have any questions please let me know if you want me to make a specific video on something please let me know i will do it questions you can get me on instagram facebook in the comments or email me and yeah guys make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on their updates because in a couple weeks they, they will be bigger and honestly i don't know about you guys but i'm excited to see that open up so yeah if you guys do want to see that make sure you subscribe because then you'll be notified and you can see how that looks anyway guys here's some of our plants that i need to take pictures of and put onto facebook before they go too dormant but yeah guys see you in the next episode